All right, guys, this is an awesome new art tip. Art tip 29, we're gonna be going over the R Markdown visual editor, and I'm super pumped for this because this is speeding up my game so fast. I am now able to create reports that look like this in seconds or minutes rather than minutes or hours. So check this out. Um, if you haven't done so already, uh, you need to go to Git Pool and you need to um, download all the code here. If you need access to the code, you just need to join our Art Tips Weekly and you'll just do a Git Pool. Okay, so once you do Git Pool, you're gonna have a folder over here, 029 R Markdown. We're in the .rmd file. You'll see a couple of files in here. We're actually gonna make these reports today. Uh, but this is the file I want you to open up. When you open it up, it will look something like this where it kind of looks a little crazy um, and this is what we call our markdown and this is how i'm used to writing our markdown where i'm making different um, data sets i'm making visualizations i'm making tables by hand and um, i'm including images and, and, and that sort of thing but there's an easier way now if you click this little button up here this opens up what's called the visual editor and this makes editing our markdown reports so easy so what happens though is up here we get a bunch of new options here for formatting reports so this is cool this is just like writing in a text editor uh, versus uh, the old way which was uh, having to write like this remembering you know a pound sign is for an h1 tag uh, this is how we make something bold this is how I make an H2. This is how I include a code chunk. It's all taken care of for me now. Um, so check this out. Um, first, we can do the same thing like loading in libraries. This is just a normal code chunk. And um, you can actually add a code chunk if you go up here to format or insert code chunk R. You can insert a code chunk. And you can just type your, your code away. Uh, so one plus one and if you click the run button it runs it right here for you so I click the run button so this is just the visual editor just kind of changes the appearance a little bit um, so if i want to add an h2 tag in here i can do the same thing i just go over normal heading two and say this is my load libraries and then this is a simple math demo okay cool I've got a data set in here. This is again, um, I'm just adding, uh, basically just adding in a uh, data set like I would normally do. So MPG, hit the control and enter to run it and it runs it for me. And this is pretty cool. Um, so it's like I'm in an editor, like in Microsoft Word. Um, here I've got a ggplot2 visualization and I'm making a plot. Again, I'm just inserting a code chunk and we can do formatting here so you see i've got a link here and that links to business science university so if you want to learn ggplot2 i've got a link here for you um, and how we would do this is i would type in learn ggplot2 and visualization and you can see that this is formatted like code we can do that right here there's a little code thinger um, and then if i type in business analytics with RDS4B101-R. And then I can include now a hyperlink. So I'm just gonna highlight this. I'm gonna include a link. I've just put my URL in here and I've got my URL. I'm gonna paste it in here and click okay. And now it links to my 101 course. Yay. Okay, cool. So that's how you would do that. Um, we have, we've got a plot in here. So if you want to learn how to do a uh, ggplot, this is great for a report. Um, we're making a visualization of the highway fuel economy versus the year that the manufacturer made it. And we're trying to showcase whether or not there's a difference in distributions and how that distribution changes between 1999 and 2008. Hopefully it would go down, but we can see for some of these, it looks like it actually went up. Um, and then we've got tables in here. So tables are super awesome. I've got a table right here. Uh, it suggests that following business science has a high correlation for your chance of success. If you follow business science, 
is yes, then your chance of success is high and your speed of learning is fast. And if you are not following business science, then your chance of success is much lower and your speed of learning is much slower. So why learn data science for business from business science? And this is a table. So check out how I added this table. Um, this is probably one of the best things. I'm going to just do a table two by two, give it a caption, my caption. Okay. And you can see you've got a column in here following business science. Yes, no. How awesome are you? Very awesome. Not as awesome. Okay, cool. So we've got our tables in here. Um, next, we've got a new page that I've added in here and I'm adding in an image. And this is the link to the free R tips weekly. And this is the image for the free R tips weekly. How I added this. It's pretty simple. All I did was I clicked this image button. And then I browsed to where I knew an image was located. So in my free R tips, I just went, scrolled down here to the bottom to my image folder, grab this image, open, okay. And then what's cool is I scrolled down here. I saw I could resize it and I just made it a little bit smaller. And then I added a, uh, another section of code in here with a link and that's all I did. Um, so I'm actually just going to delete this one out. Um, so it makes the report look nice. I'm going to save this. I'm going to click the knit button, but I'm going to click knit to HTML first. We're going to make this HTML report. Okay. So I've got the report now updated. I've got my uh, links in here. I've got the visualization. I've got my tables in here. I've got the add an image, but what if your boss wants a PDF report? Well, we can do that too. So check this out, knit to PDF. And we now have a nice PDF report. So I've got my uh, report now. It says simple math math demo here making a report uh, we can zoom in a little bit so you can see it it's the r markdown visual editor report we've got our data set in here we've got our plot in here i've got my tables in here and then i've got my image in here at the end so you've just made a professional looking report using the visual editor and this would have taken a lot more time if i'm going through and doing it the old way so definitely check out this visual editor if you like this video don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday free R tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here, put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.